Hey everyone, so today's video we're going to talk about insulation resistance testing of SR cable or a measuring of SR cable. So let's get into it. So when we're talking about an insulation resistance test for SR cable, it's also referred to as a measure. And before we get into this, I guess I want to start with, in terms of what voltages you're going to test to, is we're all, we always say just you need to follow the site standards. Um, or the company standards that you have when you're working into this because there is some big variations from site to site in terms of what specific voltage you need to be testing um, or applying when you're doing an insulation resistance test or a mega. So when you're doing a mega, essentially what we're testing for is we're testing at the actual we're testing for the actual insulation resistance between our ground connection or our braid and our conductors. And this is why when we're doing power terminations, it's really, really important that we are uh, not penetrating this inner sheath with our knife and not seeing any strands of braid that are coming close to our semiconductor core or our bus bars. And then equally, we're gonna sh show in a second is that oftentimes what we see is that end termination points get done incorrectly and sometimes the cable will just get cut and then it'll just get installed on the pipe or process equipment just like this. But I'm gonna show you that, show you that piece in a second. So when we're doing an uh, insulation resistance test, in terms of the voltage um, you're going to test to, um, you're either going to test at 500 volts DC, 1,000 or 2.5 K volts DC on an SR cable. So I'm going to start with 1,000 volts. And what we're doing is we're putting one lead to our braid and then the other lead to our two bus bars. Now, some some testing procedures will show you do one bus bar at a time, but if you're just looking at the overall insulation resistance test, like both conductors under one terminal is fine. So like I said, we're gonna test at a thousand volts first. So when we conduct this test, okay, and then what we're looking for is our meter to max out. So this one's maxed out at 200 gigs. So at a thousand volts, this has passed. And if you can see, our end termination point, as I showed you before, our end termination point isn't done correctly. And this is why we like to see uh, SR cable tested at 2,500 volts. So you can see our end termination has just been cut. But I'm going to show you something. So if we test this at 2,500 volts now, I'm going to show you the difference. So if we're testing at 2,500 volts, Hopefully the microphone will pick it up, but if you hear that snapping sound, that's actually our end conductor that's actually shorting out, and we're not getting a good reading on our meter. It's fluctuating. Now, it's probably passing based on site standards, but if you're getting this sort of reading on a brand new installation, there is a very good chance you have a problem at your power termination or your end termination point. Okay, so this is why that whenever we see new installations of SR cable, testing at 2,500 volts, in our opinion, um, is what we would always recommend. So now what we've done is we've done the end termination point. Obviously, there needs to be an end termination um, cap that would go on here, and there would need to be a boot as well, or pants that would sit on the power termination. But I want to show you the difference here when I test 2,500 volts. Now that I've taken that outer insulation and trim back the braid from the semiconductor core. So if I'm now going to test this one at tw this cable at 2,500 volts. Is that the cable or the meter is going to max out of my insulation resistance test? The only other item to note here is in the duration of how long you should test your uh, test cables under an insulation resistance test. And again, I have to say, you have to look at what the manufacturers recommend on the cable and what the site standards are. Obviously, doing an insulation res resistance test is a destructive test, so we don't love the idea of applying an, a mega for a long period of time, but again, you're going to need to follow the site standards. So that's it, everyone. Hopefully, you found this useful. Take care.